What's up YouTube, it's MacBook here. Uh, everybody knows the common gestures you get on the new MacBooks and MacBook Pros. Uh, so basically four fingers or three fingers or two fingers for scrolling. So you're probably already common with that if you have a MacBook or MacBook Pro uh, with the new trackpad. So it started in late 2008. They start uh, including those trackpads in uh, the, their MacBook. So yeah, that was very nice. So today I'm just going to show you how to add even more gestures to make browsing on your computer even faster and more performing uh, and easy to use. So yeah, let's get right into it. So uh, to get those extra gestures, you probably need, um, well there's maybe another way, but uh, the way I'm going to show you today is with GI Touch. So GI Touch is, a, is an application which basically adds gestures to your gestures to your trackpad. So they have a video showing off every gesture. So uh, you can just go on their website, the link will be in the description to the right. And um, you can go ahead and download here, so it works for Leopard and Snow Leopard. And if you want to buy a license key, it's only five, uh, five forty nine dollars, and even cheaper, of course, in euros. I think was three, or just for uh, three seventy or something in euros. I think, and this works for all versions, uh, two point XX. So, uh, for a very long time. So, yep. Um, so let's get into the application. I'm just going to show you the gestures right now. So yeah, let's go to the first gesture. So uh, the first gesture I want to show you is basically when you're on your browser. So this works on all browsers, well, common browsers, uh, Safari, Firefox. Um, so basically, it's scrolling between tabs, or I mean scrolling, well, basically walking through them uh, very quickly with a very easy gesture. Basically, use two fingers or three. Um, the fans for you then. Uh, I just put my middle finger, uh, you'll see the images, the red dots are the fingers, uh, you can see that. So, yep. Um, basically, you put your middle finger and then uh, you go that way or that way, and it's really, really easy gesture and easy to use. So, yeah, that's definitely uh, a nice one. Uh, so, that's for the first one, um, scrolling through tabs. So uh, for the second gesture here is opening a link in a new tab. So I'm just going to show you here. I'm on technobuffalo.com, uh, and as you can see, I have a link here of a discussion or article, and it's quite easy to open it in a new tab. So basically, you put one finger on the trackpad, and you hold that finger, and then you press two other fingers, and you just tab. Uh, so it's it's quite easy. So. If I get it here, so there you go. I had to do it twice uh, the first time; it didn't work apparently. So um, as you see, it came out in a new tab here. Um, so yeah, that's for the, um, opening a new tab. So the next gesture I want to show you um, is minimizing a window. So this is the one I'm struggling with the most. I'm not going to use this one uh, this much, even though it's not hard, but it's just not comfortable. Uh, so basically, the um, gesture is from your index finger to your pinky and then slide them like uh, scroll them on your uh, trackpad so I'm just going to show you what it does so you can you can see the image so as you see uh, well you can't see but I had to try three times after actually making it but even then even though I, I kinda get it after a while um, it, it's still kind of you see I, I cannot get it all the time so sometimes I, I really try to get it minimized so there you go uh, but it's really hard so I'm really struggling with this one uh, the thing w which which uh, which can help if you're left-handed oh, well, I'm not left-handed but if you put it on left handed it's actually really comfortable and really easy I just do it at once and boom uh, it works really really easy and I can just minimize really easily. But the problem with this again, I'm not left handed, right, I'm right handed, so for the other ones, uh, it's not that quite uh, handy. So I prefer getting on right handed and just not using the minimize option uh, here. So yeah, that's for the minimize. Mm, kind of struggling on that one. Uh, so I think they should have changed zoom and minimize because um, right handed zoom is it's really easy to, to get zoom. Um, so yeah there you go I just got it super simple so if you got a small window here this is for the zoom gesture uh, you want to make it bigger uh, it's super easy um, so yeah but the thing is 
I think they should ch change these because you more often minimize your window than you're actually zooming on it I think honestly that's in my opinion but yeah so that's for the zoom uh, and minimize gesture so the next gesture as you can see you have all the gestures and you can uh, if you have them all checked on uh, it can be quite confusing sometimes it does something uh, sometimes it does things you don't want to so that's why you can actually check them off which I do like so move and resize. So that one is actually not that difficult at all. Uh, right-handed. Um, so yeah, right-handed again. So basically, uh, you hold one finger and then you swipe uh, down for actually moving the window, and uh, you swipe up to resize the window. So the moving window, I do not quite use it, but the resize, I do actually uh, use it a lot. So basically, you swipe again in the same. Uh, in any way to get it back so as you can see it's super easy moving or this so this is really a very nice gesture because it does really work once I mean I don't even need to try twice it, it does it right away so uh, I do like that quite a lot so let's go to the next gesture so the next gesture is basically um uh, what was it again <laughs> yeah closing tab uh, closing a tab which you have an open tab which is currently open and quitting an application. So um, closing a tab is uh, quite easy, honestly. Um, though I do struggle sometimes to get it. So you see, you put one finger and then swipe two down. So there you got. Uh, there you go. I got it in once. Uh, it wasn't that hard at all. So uh, it's quite easy to get the close tab one, honestly. So I do get it once most of the time. Uh, so now for the next one is quitting the application so this one I struggle a little more because maybe it's because I'm not used to using my pinky lot to swipe uh, and yeah I've got not that huge fingers maybe that's it I'm not sure so um, basically uh, you hold one finger and you swipe three fingers down so there you go it's gonna ask you to quit so I got it once but honestly I don't always feel comfortable doing this one it's the same uh, as the minimize one uh, so it's just not always comfortable it does work uh, definitely all the gestures do work but they're not all that comfortable so as you see it doesn't uh, it does work uh, very well so it every every time it's asking me to quit uh, so you see I've got I got confused here with the expose so yeah maybe that's not the com I don't feel that comfortable with that uh, though it does use if you used to use your pinky for swiping uh, can can do very well. So as you saw there, the expose and at the same time quitting. So uh, this is the problem with with the with this one only for the quitting. I very often quit and at the same time do expose. So that is quite annoying sometimes. Um, so that's for the quitting application. So I think I got them all here. So minimize zoom. Uh, I showed you zoom. Yeah, I did. Uh, move resize close tabs. Uh, you can also clo uh, open a recently open tab. I do not know that gesture in my head, but you can go on the website and check out the gestures. So yeah, uh, here you can do the click speed. So basically, how fast you are. Sensitivity. I put it on soft. Um, I like the smooth thing. So it does it does work a little smoother with soft. I in my opinion. And one thing I want to add is it does support uh, thumb resting. So if you don't know what that means, uh, basically if you put, sometimes people put their thumb on the trackpad while moving. So basically I've got my thumb here. It's basically I'm I'm using two fingers, my thumb, but it's not moving, and then another finger to move around. So it does uh, support the thumb resting thing. So if I just want to go to another tab here, uh, right here, super easy. I've got four fingers on the trackpad here. So I've got my thumb, which is just resting there, but it does touch the trackpad and then you can just go through the tabs here so that's super easy and it's quite handy that it does support that the thumb resting uh, if you're like lazy and you don't want to move your hand too much um, so yeah and also it's better for not getting those uh, strain injuries or uh, things like that uh, if you comp uh, go are on the computer a lot so that's it for uh, this application review if you want to call it like this so uh, basically adding gestures to your trackpad so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I've got a little thing to add here after the video, so uh, I'll be back. So uh, this is just very quick. Uh, as you may have noticed, uh, the the video I just made was kind of a problem in the in the microphone. Uh, I don't know what happened exactly to the microphone. Uh, you might think I'm kind of talking very monotone or boring, 
uh, I do understand that because I try to speak very soft because if I do speak loud like this uh, you notice that the uh, the quality of the microphone gets even worse and it's very annoying so I basically did this video twice to uh, get this done and I hope the microphone problem gets solved soon and so yeah I can like shout a little more and all that stuff so yes uh, sorry for being kind of boring uh, but again thanks for watching please leave a comment rate subscribe that's what it for me peace